Hello everyone, welcome to our Bible study. Welcome to fellowship with the Lord. Amen. Ayan, may grab shout out po sa inyong lahat. And uh, welcome, uh, wini-welcome ko po ang lahat dito sa ating gawain para hanapin ang presensya at ang uh, pagpapaala ng Diyos. Amen. Amen. Ayan, uh, if you have Bible with you, you can... Uh, Uh, take it and open it. Our passage is from the book of Matthew in the New Testament. Mateo 18. Amen. Matthew 18, beginning verse 10. Beginning verse 10, we can read together. See that you don't you don't despise any of these little ones, their angel in heaven. I tell you are always in the presence of the Father in heaven. Oh, uh, 1821. Mali yung binasa ko, 21 pala. Ito pala. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, Matthew 18, beginning verse 21. Then Peter came to Jesus and asked, Lord, if my brother keeps on sinning against me, how many times do I have to forgive him? Seven times? This is the question of Peter. No. This is answer of the Lord Jesus. Not seven times answered Jesus, but seventy times seven. Because the kingdom of heaven is like this. Once there was a king who decided to check, to check on his servant's account, He had just begun to do so when one of them was brought and who owned him million of pounds. The servant did not have enough to pay his debt, so the king ordered him to be sold as a slave with his wife and his children and all, and all that he had in order to pay the debt. The servant fell on his knees before the king. Be patient with me, he begged, and I will pay you everything. The king felt sorry for him, so he forgave him in the debt and get him go. Amen. Ayan, pagbalain po tayo ng Diyos sa ating pagkabasa natin sa Matthew 18, beginning verse 21. May the Lord bless us upon reading His scripture today. Amen. Amen. Again. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful gathering, this wonderful uh, congregate, congregation, Lord God, that you allow us to be in one place. In this platform of YouTube, Lord God. Lord, we continue to live up to you this ministry. We continue to live up to you this YouTube account and every YouTube account that they, that they always be here to know you, to learn about you, to hear your message day by day. We thank you, Lord, for everything. As we doing this Bible study, Lord God, we just want to know you. We just want to dig your scripture so we 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 will have your comfort from your message Lord God day by day. Lord we just want to worship you. We just want to honor you in this life because you deserve it Lord God. We ask Lord your 
leading we ask lord your holy spirit to be in us to be in every one of us lord god to minister to us lord god and give us the understanding the the spirit of understanding lord god for your message today lord you are the one to speak to us today you are the one to comfort us today you are the one to heal us today lord god healing not just a physical healing lord but a spiritual healing and emotional healing that you know lord god that every day we encountered a different pace of this struggle in life lord but we pray lord god and we give we place our faith to you lord god that you are our god a sustainer a great provider for our needs for you deserve glory you deserve honor you deserve highest praise you deserve worship in your name of lord jesus christ we pray with thanksgiving amen 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 Ayan. we read earlier matthew 18 21 beginning verse 21 so uh, beginning uh, uh, the verse 21 and 22 mentioned about forgiveness forgiveness so that we should forgive other 777 times so what does it mean what does it mean that matthew 18 21 to 22 mentioned about we should forgive others 77 times the lord jesus said said we are to forgive others we are to forgive others 70 times seven in response to peter's question si peter ay lumapit sa Panginoon para magtanong, Lord, how many times shall I forgive my brother if he sin against me? Sabi niya, ilang beses ko ba dapat patawarin ang aking kapatid kapag siya'y nagkasala laban sa akin? Uh, dahil alam ni Peter yung na uh, yung seven times Yun ang binanggit niya. It is seven times. Peter questioned, Lord, how many times shall forgive my brother when he sins against me? It is seven, up to seven times. To fully understand what the Lord Jesus was saying, we must look at the context of the whole chapter the whole chapter of matthew 18 for jesus was speaking not only about forgiving one an another but about christian character this is about christian character not just the question of peter of how many times i shall forgive my brother this is not the question but this is about the Christian character, both in and out of the church. In and out means kahit nasa labas tayo ng simbahan, kahit nasa, um, nasa uh, community tayo, we should be uh, taking the Christian characters. The admoni admon admonition to forgive our brother uh, 70 times 7 follows Jesus' discourse on discipline in the church. This is, we can read in Matthew 18, 15 to 20 earlier before the verse that we read in which he lays down the rules for restoring a sinning brother
feet are wishing to appear especially forgiving and benevolent. To ask the Lord Jesus if, forge if forgiveness was to be offered 70 or 7 times. The Jewish rabbis at the time thought that forgiving someone more than three times was necessary. Noong mga panahon na yun, ang kultura sa loob ng simbahan ay kinakailangan mong makapagpatawad ng hanggang three times na mga pagkakamali ng iyong mga kapatid or kasamahan. Pero, dahil nga si Peter gusto niya na uh, may gusto siyang ipakita sa pagtatanong na sa Panginoong Isus, kaya sinabi na binanggit niya yung seven times. Seven times. Seven times ba ako na magpapatawad aking Diyos? Because ayon doon sa aming kultura, sa sa aming kultura, three times lang. Ngayon, seven times ang binanggit niya. Someone more than three times was unnecessary. This is citing Amo, uh, Amos 1, 3 to 13, where God forgave Israel's enemies three times, then punished them by offering forgiveness more than double that of the Old Testament example. Peter perhaps expected extra commendation from the Lord when Jesus responded that forgiveness should be offered 490 times. 490 times! Because uh, 70 times 7. Ang sabi ng Panginoong Isus, 70 times 7 ka magpapatawad. It means unlimited. <laughs> it, is, it means unlimited forgiveness. This mentioned of 70, 70 times 7 of the Lord Jesus is unlimited. We should be given a forgiveness all time. The unlimited. Walang bilang yung pagpapatawad natin. Kahit malaki, kahit maliit na pagkakasala. When somebody asks, can you forgive me? Or forgive me, patawarin mo ako. We should be all the way give. Forgive. Uh, we should be forgave those people. Kasi ito yung sinasabi ng Diyos sa atin. Magpatawad. Bakit kailangan natin magpatawad? Dahil yung burden nandoon sa atin, this is beneficial to us. Kung hindi ka magpatawad sa at sa kapwa natin na nagkakasala sa atin, then the burden is in our heart. At alam natin, mabigat yun sa, sa kalooban natin. Mabigat yun dalahin na yun. Kapag hindi tayo nag-release ng forgiveness doon sa nagkasala, doon sa mga na-encounter natin, sa mga miscommunication, misunderstanding, na nangyayari kapag hindi tayo open for the forgiveness pag hindi natin alam yung sinabi ng Diyos na we should be unlimited giving or forgiving uh, giving a forgiveness to other pag hindi natin alam yun then mag uh, maglo-load ilo-load natin yung lahat ng struggles na yun sa ating puso at alam nyo ba, this, kapag nandun yun sa ating katawan, then, magsasuffer yung ating physical body. Magkakaroon tayo ng karamdaman. And this is proven according to the medical society. So, we should be uh, open for the forgiveness to everyone. Whether it is big or, or small, um na pagkakamali ng ating mga kasamahan, ng ating mga kapatid, kailangan tayo lagi magbatawad. Yan. Forgiveness. This is a Christian character. 
because we always claim that we are Christian. We are always claim that we know the Lord Jesus. We always claim that we have Jesus. We believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. So kung ganun pala, we should obey for the word of God, for the word of the Lord Jesus. Sabi ng Panginoon Jesus, magpatawad ka. 70 times 7. It means unlimited forgiveness. Peter perhaps expected extra commendation from the Lord. When Jesus responded that forgiveness should be offered 490 times, far beyond that which Peter was proposing, it must have stand the disciples who were listening. Although they had been with Jesus for some time, they were still thinking in the limited terms of the law rather than unlimited terms of grace. Nung panahon na yun, nang nandito ang Panginoong Isus, there is uh, church or law, Jewish law, or mayroong batas na pinapatubad noon. At yun lagi ang tinitingnan ng mga uh, leader ng simbahan. The rule of the law. So, dahil uh, ang question ni Peter is limited, uh, doon nakabase sa rule of the law na three times magpapatawad ang tao. So, in-extend nga niya na seven times. Pero ang sumagot ang Panginoong Jesus na 70 times seven. It means uh, uh, 490 times. 490 times at ang it is sum up that unlimited forgiveness kailangan natin lagi magdala ng unlimited forgiveness day by day kasi araw-araw uh, there are a lot of encounters for this kind of trouble in our lives pagsakay pa lang natin sa mga bus paglalakad natin May mga ma-encounter tayo that we need uh, forgiveness. That we need uh, doon sa punta, pag pumunta tayo sa mga supermarket, sa mga market, there is always um, encounter that we need to share our forgiveness. By saying we are forgive those who sin against us 70 times 7, Jesus was not limiting forgiveness for 490 times. Hindi ibig sabihin sa pagsagot ng Panginoong Isus na 70 times 7, ikaw magpapatawad. This is not 490 times only, but this is unlimited times a number that is for all practical purposes beyond counting christian with forgiving heart not only do not limit the number of times they forgive they continue to forgive with us much grace the thousand times as they do the first time and every Christian are only capable of this type of forgiving spirit because of the Spirit of God lives. Tayo bilang mananampalataya at naniniwala sa Panginoong Iso Kristo, tayo mayroong espirito na nanggaling. Pag tinanggap natin ang, ang, ang Panginoong Iso sa puso natin bilang sariling tagapagligtas, mayroon na tayong espirito ng Panginoong Iso. At yung espiritu na yun ang nagsisilbi sa atin at na makakapagbigay tayo ng forgiveness sa iba. Dapat iyon lagi ang nangingibabaw dahil uh, from time to time we have to be very careful dahil the Holy Spirit is always in us. Pero kung uh, malayo yung puso natin sa Diyos, the Holy Spirit will leave us, will leave us. Iiwan, aalis siya, hindi siya maka, uh, ang Holy Spirit hindi maka 
they cannot contain pag guma, nakagagawa tayo o nakakaisip tayo ng mga uh, hindi nakakalugod para sa Diyos. Christian are only capable of this type of forgiving. So tayo lang na tumanggap sa Panginoong So Kristo ang mayroon na espiritu para makapagbigay ng forgiveness sa iba. And it is who provides the ability to offer forgiveness over and over. Yung binanggit ng Panginoong Isus na unlimited, magagawa natin yun through the Lord Jesus Christ. Siya din ang tutulong sa atin. Kasi hindi natin kaya, without the Lord Jesus Christ in our heart, in our life, we cannot forgive. Because God is forgiveness. If we don't have God in our life, then we cannot forgive. You cannot, we cannot forgive to other, because we cannot give that we do not have. So kung meron tayo, makapagbigay tayo, di ba? Kung wala tayo, hindi natin maibigay. So invite from time to time the Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, come in in this life. Lead me in this life. So I can obey to your word. I can I can able to to do the job for you through you. Amen. The Lord Jesus parable in the forgiving servant follows directly after his 70 times 7 speech. Driving home the point that if we are forgiven the enormous de depth of sin against the Holy God, how much more should we should we be we be eager to forgive those who sin against us, who are just as sinful as they? Apostle Paul parallels this example in Ephesians 4:32. where he admonishes us to forgive one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, has forgiven you. So clearly, forgiveness is not to be meted out in limited passion, but is to be abundant, overflowing, and available to all, just as the measureless grace of God is poured upon us. Ang pagpapatawad ay kagaya ng isang mapagpala. Kailangan overflowing lagi. Hindi na hindi na hihinto, hindi na hihinto sa sa hindi na binibilang yung pagkakamali ng iba. Oh, nakadalwa ka na, ha? nakatatlo ka na. Nakaapat ka na. So, it's not like that. The forgiveness is unlimited. Just a measureless grace. Just the same measureless of grace. Kasi araw-araw naman, marami tayong pagpapala tinatanggap sa Panginoon. Marami tayong pagpapala. Yung mga panlasa natin sa pagkain, this is clearly pag, uh, the blessing, pagpapala ng Diyos. Yung nakikita natin magagandang uh, sa paningin ng mata, mga puno. Lahat ito, pagpapala ng Diyos. Since this is measureless grace, araw-araw, iba-iba yung pagpapala ng Diyos sa atin. So, ganun din dapat ang, pag, ang pagpapatawad. Pagpapatawad natin ay walang bilang. It's a measureless. Amen. Amen. Ayan, mega love shout out sa inyong lahat. Maraming pong salamat inyong lahat dyan. Let us close our Bible study in praying. Aming Diyos sa langit, maraming pong salamat sa inyong uh, minsahe ngayong araw na ito. Tunay nga po na ang pagpapatawat ay hindi dapat hahantong sa isa hanggang sampo or sa bilang na binabanggit. Ngunit ito po ay, ay unlimited dapat. Meron kami. 
patuloy mo po kami turuan, Panginoon, kung paano namin gawin ito sa buhay na ito. Lord, we, we cannot hide you. You know everything about us. You know everything our, our heart, Lord God. And uh, we need you, Lord. We need you to fulfill this um, advice, this word that you given us. We need you, Lord, because without you, we do nothing, Lord. We thank you for everything. For you deserve glory, you deserve honor, you deserve highest praise, you deserve worship. In your name, O Lord Jesus Christ, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Ayan, mega love shout out sa inyo pong lahat. Sa ating pong mga kapatid dyan na patuloy na nagsishare ng ating Bible study. Nagsishare sa Facebook. Nagsishare dyan sa uh, kanilang community. Maray pong salamat. And God will bless you. Surely bless, will bless you. There is a certain reward for you waiting in heaven upon if you're doing the job of this ministry for the Lord. Lahat ng ginagawa natin para sa Diyos ay mayroong reward na nakatakda. And this is recorded in the Bible. At uh, patuloy lang po tayo na, na mag-encourage sa iba sa uh, ating kapwa-tao. Dahil ito po yung gusto ng Diyos, ito po yung purpose natin. Kailangan maging salt of the earth tayo. Maging light of the world tayo. This is the, 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 the command of the Lord Jesus. Paano natin gawin ang, uh, ang light of the earth? Light of the world and salt of the earth. Paano natin magbibigay ang mga panlasa? The word of God should be shared. The word of God should be transferred. Hindi lang yung narinig natin. Hindi lang yung, yung alam na natin yan, yung verse na yan. Hindi lang yun. Ngunit sinishare natin sa ating mga kapatid, sa ating mga kaibigan, sa ating mga kasama sa trabaho. You know that the Lord Jesus loves you. You know that the Lord Jesus is waiting you to accept the Lord, to accept, accept Him as a Savior and Lord. And this simple word to encourage other, to, to share the, the Lord Jesus is a big ministry. Ito po yung uh, gustong ipagawa sa atin ng Diyos. Ang sabihin na mayroong um, salvation na ang Panginoong Isus ang daan at ang katotohanan na siya lang ang daan patungo sa Ama, patungo sa langit. Na, siya, na ang Panginoong Isus lang ang daan, ang kasagutan sa lahat ng ating uh, kailangan. Even this is a physical needs and a spiritual needs. The Lord Jesus is the only. Because this life is for the Lord. This life is about the Lord Jesus. It's about God. Now this is not for only us. For us. Amen. Amen. Ayan. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Mega love shout out po sa inyo sa bawat isa dyan. Abulin po kayo ng pagpapala ng Diyos ngayong araw na ito. Gayon din ang inyong sambahayan. Ang pagpapala ng Diyos ay mapa sa inyong sambahayan. Maging sa inyong trabaho, hahabulin kayo ng pagpapala ng Diyos. Amen. Amen. Magkita-kita po tayo muli bukas sa ganito uling oras. Ayan. At um, God bless you all. See you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.